if a mine falls in the forest, does it make a sound? <clears throat> this is called the Kredistan Man. The Kredistan Man got a Kredistan. He lived in Kredistan land. His name is Dan. He's madly in love with this Kredistan. Keeps it in a $7 million garage and lives in poverty. Kredistan man washes Kredistan, he waxes Kredistan, he can his Kredistan, he backs his Kredistan, he types his Kredistan. He's still madly in love with his Kredistan. His wife hates Kredistan. She said, we live in poverty because of Kredistan. So Dan, I have a plan. Goodbye, Kredistan. Keep on waxing his Kredistan, etc. Kredistan man's lost in Kredistan land. So finally, Dan, the Kredistan man, steps out to tell them it was just a joke after all. But what he saw was no joke at all, so he hatched a plan, decided to build a Kredistan. Uh, recently, I had to uh, remo renew my driver's license and go down to the DMV and um, you know, you stand in a line, and then you get a number, and you go stand, you go wait again, they tell you wait again. Then you finally get your eye test and pay your fee. And they tell you, well, go wait in that other line over there. So you go wait in that other line, and I'm standing there up against the wall, and <coughs> up against the wall, and I notice a sign that says, no loitering. <laughs> so I mean, what have I been doing for the last two hours? <laughs> So, um, you know, I, I'm not sure how they tell the difference between loitering and just waiting in line. So, um, you know, excuse me, sir, are you loitering? No, okay. Are you, ma'am, are you loitering? But uh, if they do catch you loitering, they make you go stand in a line. <laughs> this is called Sweet tabby cat, standing in front of the refrigerator, contemplating what to eat. Should it be the cold ham or the pickles pig's feet? When all of a sudden you scream in terror and pain from the unexpected tabby landing on your back. Early morning, you just can't get up. All you want is the morning's black cup. Brushing your teeth is just a shore, and you don't think you'll make it out the door. Then you scream with horror and rage from the unexpected tabby landing on your back. From the highest cupboard, from the highest armoire, sits a green-eyed devil waiting for your entrance to the door. For his day won't be complete till he treats your back like a piece of meat. For he loves to hear you scream in pleasure when you meet the feet of the unexpected tabby, his landing complete. <laughs> Thank you. Shopping, you know, it's, a, it's a, a fact that men don't like shopping, but that's not really true. Men don't mind to go shopping, it's just that they don't like how women shop. You know, for example, women, they go into the store to buy a pair of pants, and they go in and they start looking at dresses and trying them on and shoes, and you know, they can't find one, you know, in their size, and you know, they spend like four hours five hours in there. A man, on the other hand, goes to buy a, a pair of pants. He'll walk into the store, grab the first pair he sees, doesn't even try them on, he's out in 30 seconds. So that's the difference. <laughs> Thank you. This one is called Double Roll. Sitting in the proper stall, just relieve myself of all. In front of me, what do I see? A double row dispensary. I find no sheets of white papery, so here I sit, broken hearted. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this final thing. <clears throat> Back in the 60s, there was a show called The Monkees. And, um, 
you know, as a reaction to the Beatles' success, so they want to make a show of a fictitious group, and uh, a lot of people auditioned for it. And um, one thing a lot of people don't know is that uh, Bob Dylan himself actually auditioned for it, and I happen to have a rare audition tape of that. Um, it's on eight track. <laughs> and uh, this is how it kind of went. <coughs> Hey, hey, monkeys, people see the monkey around. 